Hey DEFCON, this is Rinzo from Sector7. I'm really glad to be here and today in this quick video I'm gonna share with you some interesting technique I have learned uh, some time ago that uh, is about hiding your payload in the process memory. So let's jump straight into the source code. So originally I read about this technique in a paper by Frank Block and Ralph Palutke and the technique is really really simple we create a file mapping uh, which is backed by uh, a page file and then we map a view to that mapping so that we can use that memory uh, uh, which is down here so basically I take some fake uh, random bytes uh, which are pretend to be a payload and just copy them into this memory region and now if I want to hide that payload I just unmap the view okay and that's it basically uh, if, he, if we want to reuse that um, th that payload then we, ha we have to remap the view again to our process so let's uh, take a look at um, uh, process hacker and how it works uh, in reality so let me start the guy so implant and let's take process hacker to see so we have mapped this memory region it is here okay it is it, it doesn't contain anything currently uh, after we copy the, the bytes the payload is here so to speak payload of course and then I do unmapping so now if I try to reread the memory I get uh, it, it, it is failing because this memory uh, region is gone okay uh, and actually it is uh, it's 568 568 it's here it's uh, marked as free uh, so um, let's see what happens when if I remap uh, this view again and as you can see the payload is still there all right so how can we weaponize it let's do that So for that, I'm going to uh, use another example, which is Ninja Sploit, uh, which was about hiding your payload uh, in, against Windows Defender, which is uh, doing some uh, memory, like live uh, process memory scans, which are triggered by specific functions. For example, create process. So in this example, I'm going to use really simple shell calc shell code so this payload is going to call create process which will then pop up our calc and in original uh, technique and uh, ninja exploit was actually hooking uh, a process uh, create process internal function which is uh, called by process uh, create process uh, the hook, uh, the hooking technique I'm using here is utilizing uh, page guards. It has its drawbacks, but just for this example, I'm going to use that one. So for the, for the page guard, page guard, I'm uh, registering my <clears throat> my own handler for for these these ex exceptions. Uh, set up the, um, the the whole memory page to be uh, so to speak secured by a guard page, a page guard all right and then i i call a go function which creates the mapping maps the view on, on that mapping then i decrypt my original payload uh, the calc one copy that into this uh, memory region uh, I clear the original payload from the memory 
and then I create a thread with my payload. So from that point, the payload takes control and tries to create a new pro process by calling create process. Okay. Um, and if that happens, the exception occurs because of the uh, page guard and my handler will take over that. Uh, we'll take care of that and uh, basically it will call my my own create process internal function which unmaps the view so at this point the payload will be not uh, present in so to speak in the process memory I call it the original create process internal um, function take some um, some time just for us to view what happens inside the process hacker and then remap the, the memory again so we can see it if it's there uh, still All right and that's basically uh, everything so let's go to compile it and let's run it So we have, so calc popped up, that's good. So let's see, we have this memory region 213E zeros. And it's not here, okay, it should be somewhere in here. Uh, yep, it's here. And let's wait for the memory region to get back. And yep, it's back. And as you can see, our original payload is there, right? So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and enjoy the conference.